welcome back to my channel for another video in today's video i'm going to be um breaking down my paycheck number two for the month of january so if you saw the last one then you know that i did kind of have an extra paycheck this month so yeah it's a little wonky but this is paycheck number two and um i just want to state a disclaimer that um i am a beginner budgeter so you know you guys can watch how <clears throat> i budget my paychecks and if you are interested you know you can just see take some tips and apply to your own paycheck but just wanted to put that disclaimer that i am a um beginner budgeter so i was budgeting like summer 2019 and then i fell off i was inconsistent and i just became consistent about seven months ago so um yeah so i am new i am not an expert i just figured you know what i'm trying to get my life together get my finances together and why not you know share the journey and if i can help someone along the way then that makes the journey even better. So I'm going to start with my income. I am a teacher, a special ed teacher. So I usually like to just put um, like paycheck number two. And then last month I did start receiving online income. So for this two weeks, last two weeks I got my, my affiliate marketing paycheck and then this span of two weeks I will be getting the YouTube check which I am stoked about like oh my gosh <laughs> so I do share my um, my paycheck or my income because it, I'm a teacher so it's uh, public information but my online income I have opted to just keep that private <clears throat> so i'm gonna go ahead and make my lines i'm also new to um sticker budgeting so my expected for this two weeks is 1740 but i just checked my account and it will be 1760 so that's an additional 20 dollars and then I'll just keep that blank. Next, I will go ahead and put my totals. Put this down. I'm getting better with laying the stickers down. That was, you know, a task in itself. <laughs> So um, I'll just put the total, the, the expected total, 1740, and the actual total will be 1760 with an increase of $20. <clears throat> and that does not include, again, the online income. So this is how I start, which is what's expected income wise. And then I'll get into the expenses next. So starting with the tithes. Um, that is going to be 120 and then the budget is 225 and tithes pretty much stays the same it's not really um it doesn't really change so that should be the same next I'm going to do car insurance and car insurance is due on <clears throat> the 17th so that's one and I didn't I didn't put the bills in order by due date so that might be a good thing that you might want to do is put your bills um, in order by their due date I just didn't do it for this one and then for my debt I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna do my car loan just go ahead and put that right next to it that is due on the 22nd 
and that is going to be $3.59. And with the zero, the zero base budget that I do, um, <clears throat> I round to the nearest dollar. So don't really play with the cents, not because they're not important, but um, it just makes it easier to, to round. So for credit cards, that's gonna be 125. And the amount, I do put a hefty amount toward this so that I can um, be done paying that off next year in 2022. I'm scheduled to have both of these paid off in 2022. So then that would make me consumer debt free. But we have some opportunities coming up at work um, to do some extra tutoring and if I sign up for it, I might be able to pay my car off this year, y'all. Like, I'm so excited about it. I've done the math and I'm like, yeah, I might be able to pay it off this year. But I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so these are all of my fixed expenses or bills from this paycheck. <clears throat> so next I will go ahead and list my um, revolving sinking funds, or sorry, revolving cash envelopes, which are like home, groceries, gas, all that stuff. So we can start with home and it has no due date because these are variable expenses. So I give myself $20 for home. That mainly takes care of like toiletries and stuff like that, that I may need spending. I can spend this money on whatever I want. I'm gonna do 50 for gas. I do live further away from my job since moving, so I actually did have to go up on that. And then groceries, I've been giving myself um, 60. So something else is um, I don't live by myself, but I only budget for myself and my personal expenses, and I don't have any kids, so it just inc this just includes me. And 20. So we have the bills, we have the um, variable expenses, and then last but not least will be my sinking funds. And then I'm gonna do savings and cash envelopes, and that will zero out the budget. So for my sinking funds, I don't have enough room on here because I have so many to list them all so i just do them in their own category and then i'm going to go ahead and add them up to see what all i'm gonna be spend or what all i'm gonna stuff in those funds so travel's gonna get five medical's getting 20 gifts are getting 10 um church is getting 10 uh car maintenance is getting 20 and school plans are getting five. My birthday is getting 20 and miscellaneous is getting 10. So that puts me at $100 for sinking funds. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do right now is tally all of this up. So this is like all of my household needs taken care of and then see what I'm left over with and then divvy that up. Um, between savings and then doing like some extra rollover cash envelope stuffing. Go ahead and add all of these up. So 225 plus 86 plus 359 plus 613 plus 12 plus 20 plus 50 plus 75 plus 60 plus 10, I had 20 at first, but um, I, I changed that to 10, so handy dandy uh, white out. Plus 100 gives me $1,610 for my expenses. So now what I'm gonna do is subtract my actual from these expenses and then see what I'm left with. So 1760 minus 1610, Wait, what was that? <laughs> Try it again. 1760 
minus 16, 10 gives me 150. So what I'm going to do is put um, my stuff, cash, envelopes, and I'm gonna stuff $100 in my cash envelopes. And then for my savings, I'm gonna put $50. So that should zero out my budget. Um, and I mean, technically, you know, cash envelopes, that is saving. It's just saving in a different way or a different method. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna lay down my last sticker here Hopefully I can get it straight. It's looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and add my lines so I don't forget that. Um, for the due, I'm gonna just go down to the bills. I'm not gonna bring that all the way down because it wouldn't fit anyway. <laughs> and then go ahead and bring these lines down all the way. And I mean, the lines may be a little off, but I think overall we're doing okay. So my total here was um, 16, 10. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is go through and add everything again with the um, stuffing my cash envelopes and I should end up with my total income. So let's go ahead and do that again. So 225 plus 86 plus 359 613 12 20 50 75 60 10 100 150 perfect so my total is 1760 dollars and then I will just go ahead and bring these lines down just to kind of finish finish that off. And so that will conclude my um, zero base budget for paycheck two. The last thing I'm gonna do in this video is do a weekly check-in, which again, is kind of off because my paychecks come every other week, so it can throw some things off. But nonetheless, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and document what I've spent um, on this last week. So this is my weekly check-in. So I'm gonna start with my um, spending envelope. I started with $100. And so remaining, I have 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. So 100 minus 45 equals 55, so I have spent 55 and I have 45 remaining I actually I don't know I want to like do a better job at tracking my expenses I feel like I'm just kind of getting a good handle on actually breaking the budget down um, but I need to also do better with tracking the expenses for gas I started with 50 and I only have five left so I've spent 45 and um, again this is from my last paycheck so my new paycheck I will be doing a cash envelope stuffing video and then restuffing these funds and all that good stuff so I hope it's not too confusing for medicine I started with 40 and I spent that because you know your girl's allergies just wanted to cut up so I have zero left in medicine. For home, I had 20 and I spent 20, so zero left in that. And then groceries, I had 20 and I still have 20. So nothing, wait, wait, make sure my envelope is good. Okay, so those are the revolving envelopes and I did spend from a sinking fund I spent in my travel envelope so out of this envelope um, I spent $48 and so now I have $217 
in there. So I just wanted to document that I did spend some money in my um, sinking funds as well. So for travel, I spent 48 and I have 217 remaining for now. So this is going to conclude my zero base budget for paycheck two. If you like this video, don't forget to thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a comment if you would like. Otherwise, I will see you all at the end of the week. Bye.